Hello my friends, welcome back to Craft Hoarder. Over here on YouTube, our own crazy little crafty corner of the universe. I am going to preface this video by saying you'll have to excuse me for moving a little bit weird. I dislocated my shoulder recently, so it's kind of... Um, kind of just getting out of the sling and it's a little bit awkward um so apologize if there's any awkward movements going on um so today i am back with an un unboxing of a craftably kit this is daydream sea turtles by the artist on this one i believe is sheena pike sheena pike art and they are one of those that uh, does license their stuff. So if that matters to you, this is a safe company to buy from. This is also one of those small businesses. Um, I think they have less than like 10 employees or something like that. So this is a small business, but I really like their kits that I've gotten from them before. Oh, look at that. So there is a little bit of a dent on my box. Let's hope nothing inside has been damaged. Um, born in Texas, family owned. Um, so the back has the uh, kit contents. And then that's really pretty much it that's on their boxes. Um, their artwork is always on the front. And I don't remember, no, not anywhere else, but they, they do have this nice little barcode on the end. So if you have to stack that way, you can at least see what it is with the barcode. So let's dive in. Um, I did purchase two of these because my mom has a thing for sea turtles. And I thought it would be fun if we did them together and kind of, not so much as had a race, but kind of compared progress as we went. So I'm not going to unbox both of them because, well, I gave the other one to her, so I can't unbox hers. But um, I did get two with the intent that we kind of do them together and we'll post progress reports on the channel um, once we get them started. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be after the first of the year because we're both pretty busy right now so we'll see um anywho let's dive in here let's see if i can get this open without hurting myself okay so there's the inside and this is a bit different because normally their tool bag is just kind of loose in there and it doesn't look like anything was damaged, even though the outside of the box had a little bit of damage. And that's just from shipping. Not their fault. So I do like to keep all of my original packaging. Sorry, I'm going to have to scoot that. really don't have use of my right arm very much right now. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, okay, so does have this nice little dust cover. I believe that's the canvas number there on the outside if it'll focus. There we go. I think that's the canvas number. We'll find out when we open it. Um, let's start off with our toolkit. They use these purple burlap bags which are really nice. Um, good reusable bag. Okay. So they really love purple in their theme. So the bag has their logo on it. Let's see what's in their toolkit. Come on, there we go. Okay. So in here we have our standard diamond painting pen. There's our single placing tip. This is a thin. Oops, sorry. A thin plastic, come on, there we go, thin plastic multi-placer tip, and this is a four-placer. And then they also include, I believe this is a seven, yes, this is a seven multi-placer, also that thin 
thinner plastic and it, it it's not the plastic itself that's thin it's just the width is thin and then you have a three placer so you can try your hand at multi-placing if you like um, it has two squares of the purple wax this does have those thin plastic covers on there so be sure to peel that off before you go to load your pen um, and then they also have their own little wax pot so you get quite a bit of wax with their kits um, and if I remember correctly there's at least two pots in here but I don't know if I remember correctly so let's find out there's actually three so I did not remember correctly um, these also have that thin plastic sheet on them, so be sure to peel that off. And it's got their Craft of Blue logo on it. They give you a set of murder tweezers in this beautiful lilac shade. Very sharp. Very, very sharp. And then a purple squish for your pen. And a purple Mosfa tray. It's got the nice deep ridges. And there's a little bit of gold fleck in there. Mm, gives it kind of a nice little touch. A little bit of gold glitter. Nice deep ridges, so that's nice. Um, you get two rolls of washi. And I'm assuming because I bought this in the month of December is why one of them is Christmas. And that is really cute. Lots of little snowmen's all over it. That's really cute. The other one is this green leafy pattern, which is also very cute. And then they give you a cover minder. I really like this one. It's a, let's see if I can get this open. There's tape on this. And my nails have grown out a little bit, so they're hard to work with. So not only have my nails grown out, but I've also broken a couple of them and tried to rip a couple of them off on accident. So they're not really working very well. Um, Multi-purpose tweezers here. There we go. I do like the fact that their cover minders come protected in this little plastic box I think that's great oh that's cute little pink daisy the magnets are pretty well stuck on there it looks like so that's rather nice that they do that but I do like their little cover minders they're really cute so that is their toolkit and I'm going to move all of this stuff off to the side so we can get into the kit itself. There is our drills. And then we have... The only thing I don't like about Craftably kits is they come taped. I find that rather annoying because they are already in a dust cover. So I gotta go get something to cut that tape. Okay, Let's see if I can do this without hurting the canvas. There we go. And somewhere in here is our inventory sheet. There it is. Okay, so let's start with these. Okay, so our inventory sheet here and our pamphlet. Okay, so the pamphlet gives you some features and a guarantee they do have accident insurance. Uh, welcome to the Craftably family, accessory ideas, how to diamond paint, and then the features and guarantee on the back. Plus they plant a tree with every order and I have gotten the chance to see where my trees are. So that's kind of cool. 
Um, here is your sticker labels and inventory sheets. So these are the bigger labels. Um, there are 60 colors in this kit. Looks like we got some special drills down here. Lots of ABs it looks like. And then you have this smaller logbook sheet, sticker, excuse me, not sheet, sticker, where it has a start date and a finish date and the canvas information on it. And then you get some fun little diamond painting stickers. I sweat glitter, that's funny. Um, and again, the canvas information up here. So there's all our colors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. And I don't know what this Y is. So we're gonna find out. Um, the nice thing about Craftably that they do is that they do put a artist run an artist picture on the bag of drills. So if you store your drills separately from your canvas, that makes it really easy to find. Especially with that big bold picture up there. I do really like that about them. This is a round kit and it is 18 by 24 inches. I'm not sure how many centimeters that is, but they list in inches. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Just all of these really fun, bright colors here. Um, okay, so those Y's, this looks I think these might be glow-in-the-dark. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can... I think they're glow-in-the-dark. I really, I really am not sure. And then these are just some clear, which is kind of cool. I don't know if these glow in... I don't know if those purple ones glow-in-the-dark too or not. I'll know when the light charges them up a little bit more, and then we can kind of take a look. Okay, so there is our first AB, which is a really nice pink AB, a nice bright yellow AB, blue AB, orange AB, ooh, what a pretty green. an AB and then the purple AB and then we start getting into our regular drills. So AB means a, a short for Aurora Borealis and that just means this extra coating on the outside of the drills that gives it a little bit more sparkle designed to uh, bring your attention into certain key areas of the artwork. Um, kind of acts like a highlight we have these beautiful greens, oranges, not a lot of darks in this kit, which is nice. It's very, um, almost Lisa Frankish. I really like it. Um, lots of fun colors in this. Nice teals. I wouldn't say that that's white. It's almost it's almost like a blue white. Pinks, greens, lots of different greens. This is going to be a very colorful and fun kit to work on. Um, not a lot of static in their packaging, which is really nice. Lots of purples. There's our 310. There's also not a lot of trash that I'm seeing. Everything is just real loose and real clean. Um, very uniform looking. And this came back into restock. Um, we are in the month of December now. You probably won't see this posted until after the first of the year. Um, 
but they have after the first of the year a whole bunch of kits coming in uh, right now they're limited stock in what they have because they just moved facilities but take a look the first of the year they've got a whole bunch of kits coming out and I would assume probably some good sales because they always have some good sales so those are the drills very nice and clean and uniform um, not a lot of trash in there not a lot of static in there so that's really nice the canvases Leave those scissors before I hurt myself. Um, the canvases are these soft lint back, and they are poured blue, so it is safe to roll them backwards to help them lay flat. You don't want to do that with double-sided adhesive, but you can do that with poured glue canvases trying to stay as much in frame as possible without twerking my arm too much. Um, so let's take a look at that canvas. Wow, look at that. That is really pretty. I really like that. Lots of fun, bright colors there. It is just beautiful work. Um, this is going to work up really nicely, I think. Um, so... Their canvas is um, cut and stitched all the way around, so there's no fray. And this is a, a very soft, almost felt. The front side is really smooth to work with. It's not real plasticky feeling, so that's really nice. Um, the cover sheet is a bit of a thicker plastic, so it doesn't crinkle that annoying crinkle as much, and it comes off pretty easily. And we are going to relax this canvas because it really wants to just roll right back up. So I'm just going to peel this cover sheet back a little bit. And get rid of some of that tension on the canvas that comes with being rolled up and shipped. And then we'll just slide that back over very carefully. Do the same on this side, and this also helps to lay the canvas a little bit flatter. These are self-flattening too, um, so as soon as you get any weight on them from the drills, it'll flatten out pretty good. But I'm impatient, and I don't wait that long, so this is why I do this. Plus it just kind of releases if there's any wrinkles or anything underneath of the cover just kind of helps release all that. Just so many fun, bright colors. Oh, my mom is going to love this. Well, I mean, I know she loves it from the outside of the box, but she's really going to love working on this. And this is bigger than what she usually does. She usually likes those 20 by 30s, 30 by 30s. 30 by 40 is really kind of the biggest that she goes. So this one is going to, and those that's centimeters that I'm talking. Um, so this is going to be quite a bit bigger for her, but I really think she's going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, let's see how many centimeters this is. I'm going to go grab my tape measure. Okay, so we're going to see if this is true to size. It says it's 18 inch by 24 inch. Uh, if I remember correctly, where's my inventory sheet? Yeah, 18 by 24. So let's start with that. And it's actually a little over 18 inches. It's 18 and a quarter. And then the length side is actually 24 and a half. So it's actually a little bit bigger than advertised, which is always kind of fun. Um, let's see how many centimeters that is. That is, let's see, 46 and a quarter by, 62 on the dot 
so 46 by 62 about. So that's a good size. Um, quite a bit bigger than snack size. Let's take a look at the stick of the glue. Oh, nice and sticky. Nice and sticky. So that's nice. Good, good stick on that glue. It is a softer glue, so you won't have too many issues if you have to pick off and move, um, which is really nice. Um, and those clear rhinestones look like they're denoted by a blank colored circle, which is also really nice. So none of the symbols will poke through on that. So let's take a look here. We have 60 colors. We have a legend on both sides of the canvas, one on the upper left and one that's lower on the right. You also have a thumbnail on the low right and on the bottom left hand corner here along with the canvas information um daydream sea turtles by sheena pike art and illustration licensing information you have your socials down here and the guarantee down here on the right hand corner up at the top you have the craftably logo and the symbol printing looks really, really clear, which is always nice to see. They do have very faint guidelines around their circles so that you can center them, but they're not gonna be super noticeable unless you just don't center at all. Um, and even then, they're really light, so they're not gonna, they're not gonna show through too much. All of this printing looks super crisp and clear. I can see everything with ease. And this right here is where that clear purple stone is gonna go. And then over here, this is our clear, our clear, clear symbol. So that's, that's good. You won't have any symbols poking through underneath. It's just denoted by a blank circle. So that's really nice. So that's where those are going to go. Um, you've got some in the outlining on the turtles. Kind of where like these scales, I guess, would be denoted. Um, all through the outlining on the sea turtles is that white. That clear white one. Um all down here in the bottom in this big sea turtle it's all outlined in the white and in the purple i'm trying to see if there's anywhere else where that purple makes an appearance and i'm not there's a little bit around the eye of this upper and a little bit right here but for the most part a majority of those clear purple ones are going to be down here in this big sea turtle down here um the ABs, how many of them were there? One, two, three, four, five, six of those. So those are, let's see here. It starts with symbol 12, which is that purple AB. Okay, so here we go. Oh, no, that's, yeah. So here's that real light purple AB. And then you have this crystal one right underneath of it. So those are pretty close together. That's going to bring a lot of attention into that, which is going to be really nice. A lot of highlights in there. Um, you've got some of the purple ABs over here in this flower. You have some purple of the clear purple ones up in here in this flower, along with some of the white. Um, and I'm curious to see if those will glow in the dark. I'm kind of trying to leave them in the light for a minute so that if they do glow in the dark, they get some kind of a charge. Um, and then we have some of those green ABs in these leaves. So that'll highlight all through the leaves of the flowers in here. Um, also in 
the green on the sea turtles, we have some of that green AB. Up in here, where those leaves are, we got a little bit outlining um, the flipper of this turtle. We've got a bunch of that green AB up in here, down here, down here. Pretty much anywhere where there's green on this picture, there's also going to be some of that green AB. We have that yellow AB down here in these yellow florals, here in this floral. We've got it again over here and over here. And then again up here at the top. In all of those yellow florals, they're going to have AB. Um, the blue AB, let's see, that looks like that is mainly going to be focused up here in this blue sea turtle. Um, I see um, highlights in these light areas. I see a lot of highlighting, um, a lot in the back of the shell back here, lots of those ABs, and a lot of them are right next to those white drills, those clear white drills, so that'll be a nice fun highlight feature. Um, we also have the pink AB, which is in this pink floral over here. We have some here all the way throughout this pink floral. Um, you have some up here. Ooh, moving that shoulder funny. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta stop doing that. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of ABs, lots of fun, bright colors. I have a feeling this one's gonna be really fun. And the printing on this is really clear no matter where it is, even in these dark symbols. There's nothing that's really difficult for me to see or make out what it is. Printing is really, really clear on this canvas. Lots of fun highlights all the way throughout. Lots of fun specials all the way throughout. And just lots of fun bright colors. So this is going to be a really fun kit, and I have a feeling that even though it's bigger than what she likes because of the subject matter and how many pretty specials there are, I really think she's going to like it. Um, so now that these have kind of sat in the light for a minute, let's see. Oh guys, they glow. Do they both glow or just the white ones? I'm not sure that I can see glow on the purple. Let's see if I can capture that on camera. One second, I'm gonna turn some lights off. Okay, so now that it's nice and dark in here, maybe the camera will pick up the glowing. So this is that clear one. Yeah, nice bright glow. Loving that. Um, the purple does not glow. So the purple is just a nice, fun, different rhinestone. But look at the glow on that. And that's still with a little bit of backlighting from my Christmas lights in the hallway and stuff. So you're still catching a little bit of light, but that definitely glows really well. Get this light turned back on here. So this is... This whole turtle is... All of the turtles are going to be outlined in that glow in the dark, which is really fun. Um, and then that purple is just kind of a clear purple crystal, which is, it's like a glass effect, which is really fun. Um, I haven't worked with that before, and I have never worked with glow in the darks before, so this is going to be a really fun kit. So yeah, go check out Craftably, uh, craftably.com, small family owned business in Texas. Um, they've got some really cool things that are coming up. Um, really excited for them. They just moved warehouses again, so they're pretty limited right at the moment. But as soon as the first of the year hits, they say they've got a lot of new and exciting things come out. Um, they don't really list 
on their descriptions like what kind of special drills they are, at least not that I could see. Um, maybe I just wasn't looking in the right area and I was just so excited that this came back in stock that I just bought it anyway without knowing that. Um, but yeah, very exciting. And we're going to have kind of a race between me and my mom to see kind of the progress that we each make. So that'll be fun and we'll keep you updated on that. We're going to work on them together, so it's going to be fun. So, all right, thank you for joining me and have fun, be cool, stay safe, peace out.